everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we are doing our next installment of our Instant Pot 101 series. So today we're going to be using the bean and chili button. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. I've looked at it three times, and we're going to call it the bean button. So we're going to use that one. I'm going to make a simple bean and ham soup which sounds really, really good because it's kind of cold outside today. So I'm going to throw it together. I'm not really sure of the ingredients yet. We're just going to make it up as we go along. I know I'm going to put some garlic and some onions, and we're going to use some dry pinto beans and some chicken broth, and I've got some ham. So let me just turn around. We'll grab a cutting board. Oh, I'm going to put some carrots in there too. Um, we grab a cutting board, grab a couple of things, we'll change the camera angle, and then we'll get started on this recipe. So, super simple. I think we're just going to have to press the button and let it go. And I think it's going to cook for maybe, I don't know, let me just turn you around and we'll figure it out together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out about a cup and a half of dried beans. And I already have, I already have one open, so we're just going to use the rest of this bag. See what we have in there, and then we're going to grab a little bit out of the next bag. Now, if you've never cooked dried beans before, there is an extra step that you need to do with this. So let me just go ahead and measure up just a little bit more. All right, so that's good. I probably could have just used what I had left, but... A cup and a half just sounded right today. So if you've never cooked dried beans before, there is, like I said, an extra step that you wanna do. So you wanna check the beans to make sure there's no rocks or anything inside the beans. So you just kind of quickly go through, and I usually do this at my kitchen table so I can just sweep them right into a bowl. But you just go through and look to see if there's any any rocks, any weird looking beans that you may find. Now, I don't always find rocks, but sometimes I do. And then I'm always glad that I take this extra step because that's the worst thing you want to do is be able, you know, to be expecting to bite into some nice, some nice soft beans and then you hit a rock and break a tooth. Nobody wants that. All right, so far so good. This usually only takes just another minute, so it's not too bad. Right. One more section to look through. Now see, if I was doing this off camera, I would find a rock or something. I did find a weird looking bean. Let's see if I can show you. And it's probably okay, but to me it looks weird, so we're going to toss that in the sink and get rid of that one. All right, so I'm just going to put the rest of these beans into my container here, my measuring cup. And then we're just going to give them a quick rinse, and we're going to throw them right into the pot in just a few minutes. So we're just going to rinse these. You just want to rinse them to make sure you just, you know, don't get any dirt or anything, just to make sure that they're, they're clean and ready to go. Drop a few in your sink so that you can put them in your garbage disposal later. You know, you know the drill. All right, so that's good. We're just going to get that and set that off to the side. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up our carrots. And we're going to pop those right into the Instant Pot along with, I guess I could throw the beans in there. I guess it doesn't matter. We're just going to pop those right in. I got maybe a half a bag of carrots here. This is a one pound package. And I just thought that these would be good in the soup. You can't go wrong with extra veggies, right? So I'm just gonna cut these just into smaller pieces, maybe into threes. Sounds really good. So let's take just a second. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up an onion. And again, you can put whatever you want in your bean soup. I mean, however you, whatever ingredients you like. I'm just going to show you the base. And matter of fact, I have some spinach in the fridge. I might just go ahead and throw a bag of spinach in here. That sounds really good. Slight delay while I let the dog out. 
that ever happened to you? It's always the most inopportune times. You let them out, but they know you're in here doing something. They're like, hey, I want to go out. All right. One more. We're just going to pop those right in there as well. I really like it when I can just chop and dump. And it makes things so much easier. Pull the layer off this onion. Give that a quick rinse. I just realized I had the faucet in the way. Sorry about that. I try when I'm using this angle to get that out of the way, but sometimes I forget. All right, so I'm just going to give us a quick rough chop. It doesn't have to be super small because our carrots are a little larger. I'm going to try to watch the door because I'm going to have to let the dog back in. I don't know. My dog really likes the cold weather. It just cracks me up. She could just stay out there. Not that I let her, but I mean, I made her come back in, but she just likes to stay out there. All right, we've got that in. I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic. I got a half a tablespoon measuring spoon here, so I'm just going to throw a tablespoon of garlic in here. Or a little more, you know. A little extra garlic never hurt anyone. And then we're going to mix up our chicken broth. So today I'm using for chicken broth this chicken base. And we're just going to start mixing that together. I think I'm going to grab my larger, my larger one. I have a four cupper, which I really like to use, especially for this. So we're just going to grab three cups for now. Start to mix that in. There wasn't a ton of this left, so I'm just going to mix what I have left in here into this, and then we'll just add water in to accommodate the rest. I think that will be a, a good plan. Now, when you're using chicken broth, do you use the the kind in the in the container? It's you know the, the one that's already liquidy that you just pop the top off, or do you use a base like I'm using here? I used to buy it in the container, but I always ran out and I never had it on hand. So I've been trying to keep this on hand because it just seems to work out a heck of a lot better, and it, it's nice to have it, like I said, on hand all the time. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And then I'm going to bring you over to my other counter and show you exactly where we're at now. I think that'll be easier for you to see. Okay, you can see where I'm at right now. So I think I'm going to add three more cups of water. And I think that'll be good. So we've got six cups of water, a cup and a half of dried beans, some garlic, an onion, some carrots. I think that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're going to start our Instant Pot. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put our lid on our Instant Pot. I'm just gonna turn it around here just to make it easier and you can see that I'm gonna put this on ceiling. So I'm gonna drop you back down. Actually, I'm just gonna bring you in. I think that'll be good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the bean and chili button. And no matter which one you have, you should have the bean and chili button. So we're just going to press that. It's going to say 30 minutes and we're going to let that go. And then when I come back, once the pot has cooked for 30 minutes, we're going to let that do a natural release, which means the pin's going to drop on its own. Then once that happens, we're going to come back and then we're going to add our ham. And today I'm just using a simple ham. This, this, thin sliced smoked ham. I'm just going to slice that up and we're going to add that. And then I might go ahead and add that spinach. That just sounds really good to me. Um, a bean spinach ham soup. So stay tuned. We'll get the rest of the ingredients in when we'll come back. But super simple, right? I mean, 
If you cook beans on the stove, what does it take for maybe five hours? And if you cook beans in your crock pot, I have sometimes had to start my beans in my crock pot the night before and then let it cook all night long, check the water the next morning, and then let it cook all day while I'm at work. So this is so much easier. Half hour in your Instant Pot. We'll check the beans when they come out. They should be cooked just perfect. But again, stay tuned. We'll see where we're at. It's starting to hiss a little bit, so we should be sealing up here in just a moment. I always try to catch this for you because I always think it's fun. it. It's getting ready. There we go. Sealed. All right, so from this point forward, it's going to finish coming to pressure, and then the countdown will begin for the 30 minutes. So again, stay tuned. Okay, our beans have finished cooking, and I just let it sit on the counter because we ended up having dinner. So I had a little extra time, so I just let it do its natural release, so there's no pressure left in the pot itself. So I'm just going to pull the lid off now, and it's still boiling pretty good. I'm just going to set this aside, and then we're going to grab a plate, because I always like to test my beans before I finish. And what I'm doing is I'm testing them for doneness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull a couple of beans out. Those carrots look wonderful. I'm glad I thought to put those in. All right, so we're just gonna put a couple beans on the plate. Going to scooch in. Okay, so I've got the angle changed here, so look. Not as soft as I would like them. Probably could have went 35 minutes on this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on for five minutes once I get my spinach and my ham in there just to kind of meld the things together. So we're just going to pop those back in there. And when you are using the soup chili bean, I always want to call it the soup button. When you're using the bean button, you can always use your plus and minuses to make it go up or down. So we're just going to turn that off for the moment while we chop our ham. I don't know about you, but I always try to figure out how to open these. There's always one corner that opens, and it's always the last corner you look at. So I do have, this is a 97% fat-free thin sliced ham, and it is one smart point per two ounces. And I think the entire container was nine ounces. So whatever that turns out to be. So I'm just gonna give this a rough chop. Kind of have the ham running all the way through the soup. All right, that looks good. So we're just going to pop that in there. And then what I'm looking for is a little thicker soup, so that ham really helps to thicken it up a little bit gives you a little more substance in there. And then the last thing that I'm going to add in is the baby spinach. And I'm just gonna dump in a package. It's a, looks like a six ounce package. So I'm just gonna dump the entire thing in there. Sorry about that, I forgot to change the angle. I realized that after I'd already put the ham in and started putting the package of baby spinach in. So this is the baby spinach I'm using. It's a market side baby spinach from Walmart and hopefully you can see that it is six ounces. So we're just gonna put the entire package in. And I know it does look full, but that is going to wilt down fairly quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the top back on the pot. Get a better look, there we go. We're gonna put the top back on the pot. We're gonna turn it back on manual pressure, high pressure for five minutes. 
So we're going to pop the top back on. We're going to put our vent, I'm just going to scooch over here. We're going to put this on ceiling. And then, it might be easier if I just gently move you. Here we go. So we're just going to now make sure we have the cancel button. We're going to hit manual. We're going to bring it down to five minutes. And it won't take that long at all to come up to pressure because the pot is still hot. It's not and it's not what you call under pressure, but it's still hot. So we're going to let that go ahead and cook for five minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the final product. That should be just enough to finish softening those beans. So, okay, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, before I let the steam out of my pressure cooker, I just wanted to let you know, had my beans been fully cooked and soft, what I would have done is I just would have turned my pan on saute. So I would have just hit the cancel button and then hit saute to where I would have brought that to a rolling boil. And then I would have just dumped in my ham and my spinach and just let that go ahead and cook down for a few minutes. And it would have had the same effect but since I wanted to get my beans a little bit more done, I wanted to go ahead and cook that just like I said for another five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the pressure out of the pot now, and then we're gonna check our beans one final time. I'm super excited because this, this, this just sounds amazing. And if you wanted to change your flavor up, I mean, if you wanted to add tomatoes, you could have added tomatoes in at the end and then cooked it for another five minutes, or you could have added a different spices, but I'm thinking that between the beans and the ham and everything else, I'm not sure I'm gonna need anything more than just pepper. So I will give that a try and this just adjust the seasonings after that. But I really didn't want this to take on any flavor. Um, you know, if I would have added Italian seasoning, it would have taken on a whole different flavor and it's just not what I was looking for. I just wanted a plain bean, ham, and spinach soup. So let's let the pressure out and see what we have. And we were close to almost a full natural release on that because you can tell that the pressure was not that strong when I flipped it. And you can see the little button here. And we're just waiting for that pin to drop. And yes, I do call it a pin sometimes, I do call it a button sometimes, but ultimately it's just the, um, the ceiling pin. I think it's what it's called. So we're just gonna give it just another second here and then we're going to check it out. So I'm kind of excited, are you excited? Are you gonna try beans in your Instant Pot? Now, normally if I'm just cooking beans by themselves and I'm not doing anything else and I'm not planning on cooking anything, sometimes I will just hit the bean button and cook it for 40 minutes. That way I don't have to take the chance on whether or not the beans were fresh beans or old beans. Um, my mom always told me that if the beans were a little bit older, if they weren't like super fresh, that it would take a little bit longer for them to cook and get soft. And um, maybe she's right. I mean, maybe that's what the issue was today I'm not sure but again let's pull this lid off and see what we have are you ready are we close enough let me bring you a little bit closer all right all right let's see what we have there we go see that spinach is just laying on top there oh that looks good do you guys see that nice thick soup Right, I'm just going to take and see if I can find a bean here real quick. Yeah, they're floating on the top now. That's much. That's a much better sign. Let me see if I can grab a couple here real quick. Right, I still have the ham, the lid from the ham out here. I'm just going to pop it on there. Can you, I'm not sure I can get that in the... Oh, wait. There we go. It's in the shot a little bit. I'm going to grab a fork. All right, cross your fingers. This is gonna be the test. Because I could have just done that already. All right, that's a little more light. Look, oh, that's much better. Look, nice and soft. All right, that's what we want for our soup. Okay, so I'm going to call this a winner. Like I said, I'll taste test it, adjust the flavors, put some pepper in here, because I know it's definitely gonna need pepper. 
but now I have some nice hearty soup to put away and pack away for my lunches this week. And again, here in Michigan, it's super cold. Our weather has just been nuts lately. I mean, it's just doing its own thing. And I know it is winter, and I know that we got really lucky that we, you know, that winter didn't hit until the end of January. So I guess I should be happy and thankful for that. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna sign off from here. I'm going to let my soup cool down, and then I'm going to get it in containers and package it up and be ready to go. I don't know the points on this yet. I'm thinking it's gonna be maybe one point because I think the only thing we have to count the points for is the ham. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get much more than eight to 10 servings of soup in here. So it's gonna be between zero and one point, but I think I'll just count it as one point and just call it a day. So with that said, I hope that you try this one point bean, ham, and spinach soup. And let me know in the comments once you do try it because of the fact that I always like to hear from you and I always like to hear that you're getting more confident with your Instant Pots. All right, so with that said, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.